Welcome to Jonesy's vlog. I want to quickly start this one by saying thank you so much people for uh, sharing and retweeting this already. I've got over 85 views for both vlogs I did yesterday. I've got four subscribers. I've got really good comments and feedback from people both on Twitter and on YouTube on the comments. And considering I only put the vlogs on quite late last night, I'm considering that to be quite an achievement and a success. Uh, also regarding that this is this is my uh, my first uh, attempt at doing vlogs so thank you very much please keep doing it and try and get it as bigger and better as we can uh, but also I want more comments on on what I'm actually doing if you want me to do certain things uh, what I'm doing right what I'm doing wrong and I can improve and hopefully make these better for you to watch more interesting funny whatever it's completely up to you this is about getting people talking and debating it's not just about me so that's out of the way so topic tonight Carrying on pretty much from yesterday, talking about referees' consistency, I wanted people to get in touch and get their views on how you think we can help them, what help they need. And the overwhelming majority has said technology, video referees, bring that into the game to help referees. Because, yeah, like I said yesterday, we don't want to be bashing referees, they have a hard job. So let's make it easier for them, let's give them the extra option. When they're given a, uh, a decision, they've only got one or two options, yes or no. Do they give something, do they not? Now, I'm sorry, but they are not going to be 100% right, or 100% sure, sorry, all of the time. So when they're not 100% sure, give them that extra option of sending it to a fourth, you know, a fourth official with a monitor, or a fifth official, a video referee, whatever you want to call it, who's going to spend, what, 30 seconds, a minute, looking at the decision at least getting it right and then moving on with the game and you know there's no controversy after there's no teams being hard done by there's no unfair goals being given there's no unfair sendings off um, you know no uh, dives uh, are going to be eradicated hopefully um, we need to help the referees and people saying it will be more stop start well I'd rather have a more stop start game that goes on an extra four or five minutes and have the right and fair outcome of a match and have less matches like yesterday between Chelsea and Manchester United where the games have been ruined because of poor decisions by the referees so this is more about giving them the help that they clearly need because we've seen it more and more often like I said yesterday I mean we see it already in uh, rugby league and rugby union we see the video refs we've seen it in cricket now that's just been brought in we see it in the NFL so we know that it's a successful system to use so we need to move on in football, we need to stop living in the past, stop thinking about tradition, we need to move on and make football a much better game because at the moment it's starting to go down the pan a bit and games are being ruined, managers are losing the jobs over results because of poor refereeing, fans uh, are starting to stay away, fans are getting disillusioned with decisions and poor decisions, so I think it really is the way to go. Now the decisions that need to be taken to the video referee we're already seeing goal line technology finally, thank God, being brought in by FIFA and being given trials, uh, I believe it's somewhere somewhere abroad at the moment. So hopefully that will start being more worldwide um, and it will be brought brought into football and we'll stop having, was it over the line, wasn't, wasn't it? We can look at last man tackles because sometimes defenders are getting sent off for it being the last man when in fact there was probably going to be another player that could get, get there. 30 seconds looking looking on a video monitor can sort that right out we need to help linesmen in their offside decisions because they're not always going to be 100% sure they've either got to say yes it was offside no it wasn't offside give it to the video video monitor you can tell in 30 seconds whether it's offside or not we can see in replays when watching Sky TV or whatever when it shows it again that we can see whether it's right or wrong so how that can't be used in football I, I really don't know um, and obviously diving especially in the penalty area if a referee isn't sharp, send it there, get the right decision and move on, get on with it. It seems to me such an easy decision, yet people are wanting to hang on to the tradition. They're wanting to keep it as plain and simple as possible, but yet they're happy for games to be ruined like yesterday. So, let me know what you think, if you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, that's absolutely fine, this is what it's all about. Leave your comments below on YouTube, comment me on Twitter, that's uh, at Chris Jones LUFC, again I'll put it in the description box. And uh, yes, please keep subscribing, keep viewing, keep sharing it, and I will probably speak to you tomorrow, um, 
Obviously, good luck to the Mighty Whites in the match against Southampton in the Carling Cup. Hoping for a big win there. Um, so, yes, speak to you later, guys.